Okay. Welcome. This is Team Transformation Warriors Team Call for the last week of January, looking into February. So fingers crossed that Zoom is nice to me and I have a good signal. So far, so good. And that my, no one interrupts me. That I can hear them fighting already. Okay. So <laughs> fighting over what to have for dessert. Hopefully I don't eat my cookies. Okay. So we are going to talk about um, all kinds of stuff. So the first thing is the next group starts on February 1st. And just so you know, all of our groups always start the first of the month, no matter what. If the first of the month is a Wednesday or a Sunday, that's when it is. And we, it just makes it easier to um, navigate. So whenever that falls, that's gonna be the next group. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna leave the same group open. So it's gonna be the same group in Beachbody On Demand. For next month in March, we will change to a new group. But for this month, we're just gonna leave it the same since we have a bunch of brand new people and coaches, it'll just make it easier. And then we'll transition to a new group next month. Okay, so the theme for um, next month's group is the first, um, you first February, you first February. And I dropped stories. If you didn't see them in the Transformation Warriors pod, I know there's some new coaches on here. If you're not in our pod, let me know and I'll add you to it. I drop stories in there. I drop my scripts in there. Like if I'm reaching out to people on my stories and that kind of thing. And people just drop stuff in there. And if you guys use that pod too, if you find something that's working really well for you, like make sure that you share it in there. Um, okay, so to do's for this week. Make sure that you are posting a transformation at some point. And it doesn't always have to be a left to right. There's so many different kinds of transformations, just so you know, like tomorrow, my transformation post isn't going to be a left and a right post. It's going to be about how I dress a lot nicer and my fix myself up ever since I started this journey. And I never did that before. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that this can show up in your life. It could be energy. It could be like you chasing your kid. It can be doing something you did in high school that you haven't done in forever, whatever it is. There's so many different ways that transformation shows up. So make sure that you're sharing something once a week that um, is kind of a big takeaway for yourself. Okay, remember the power of this journey is your story that is personal to you. Okay, um, so make sure that you're sharing something with transformation this week. Make, of course, a left to right transformation. I'm gonna, okay, I'm sorry. A left to right transformation is definitely very impactful. So if you don't haven't done any of those, then I encourage you to do that. Um, what else? Uh, go live with a recipe <laughs> or something. It doesn't have to be a recipe. It can be anything, literally. But one thing um, I encourage you guys to do is to go live only because. That's how people, especially if you're adding to your network and there's people that don't know you, it helps them get to know you. Especially if you don't go live in your stories, like go live, talk to the people. It gets, lets them get to know like the real you. I go live because um, I had a real fear of public speaking and I found that it actually really helped me get over that fear and help my people get to know me. So I do it with something that has impacted you on this journey. It doesn't, it could be something personal development. It could be anything. But um, less than five minutes when you do a live. And it also kicks all of your stuff into the feed. If you're going to do a transformation post, like tomorrow, I'm going to do an engagement post in the morning. And an engagement post, you guys, is like um, something that has, like, so, have you ever seen those tacos or burgers? Or, you know, like those are engagement posts. Posts where people want to tell, like share back what their ideas are, whatever it is. Um, I think tomorrow mine is going to be, oh, I don't know. Have you guys seen that one post, age yourself with the store, and then you put and then you put yours in the comments? Those are all engagement posts. Anytime someone wants you to answer something, that's an engagement post. And the reason people do those is because it puts your stuff back up in the Facebook feed. It gets more people seeing your stuff. So you do an engagement post, and then you do another post that day that's something you really want people to see. Get it? So then they see that all those people that answered that post, it made your feed sticky. It made people see your feed. So then the next post that you do, a lot more people are gonna see it. Lives and videos do the same exact thing. Lives even more because Facebook and Instagram love video. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. Um, 
what else? If you aren't posting in stories, make sure you're posting in stories. If you're posting in stories and you're not reaching out to people, then you are doing a disservice to the people who are watching your stories. So make sure that you're reaching out to everyone who's what I reached out to probably 50 people today. And there were so many people in there that I had never talked to before or seen, never even sent a message to. So there's different people who are watching your stories every day. You wanna make sure you're reaching out to those people. That's the only thing where it's like time, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, you have to, it's, you, it's it expires in 24 hours, so time sensitive. So you wanna make sure that you get in there. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> you sure you get in there and you respond to those people because you don't wanna lose them and not, you know, some people watch stories not every day. Um, what else? Uh, also, make sure you post your transformation in your stories. So I'm going to post that tomorrow in my stories. Um, I shared those those stories that I just shared. Like you can actually run your transformation right after that set of stories I gave you guys. Okay. All right, so that's everything for this week. So make sure you're inviting, you're reaching out to everyone that you've invited before. So my rule of thumb is I invite, I, if they don't respond or they ghost me or whatever, but they're still liking my posts and stuff, I wait a full month and then I invite again right before the next group or like that week right before. But I don't like invite, if I've invited last week and they didn't respond, I'm not gonna reach out to them again this week, okay? So I always wait a month but they are on my follow-up list. So I'm going through and I'm, you know, going through and inviting all the people that I've invited before, because remember it takes six to 10 times for people to say yes. So you want to make sure that you are continually inviting um, people, especially if you've had conversations with them and they were like, no, no, you know, um, it might end up in the right time or maybe now they're ready um, like that. What else? Um, so make sure you're following up, make sure you're doing all your reach outs. And then let's talk about Team Cup. So if you're not on a Team Cup team, let me know. I'll find you a team. I think we I think we placed everybody. If you're brand, brand new, you might not be on a team because we really want you to just focus on doing the basics. But if you've been around for at least a week or two, then you're probably going to be on the Team Cup team. And what that is is that basically you will get three $10 off coupons, you'll work in a group and you'll push each other to rise up and meet some goals. And then the company also rewards you. So if you help three people in that month, you get your regular success club prize, plus you'll get another team cup prize. And I love prizes, I'm a big prize person. So, um, and they're usually nice. So anyways, um, make sure that you go all in with your team cup, that you're pushing each other and um, Nicole and I are gonna kind of mentor you guys as well. Okay, what else? And then the new coach mentorship starts on February 1st. So make sure that if you're not, you can always do it again, okay? So you can redo Team Cup. I'm sorry, you can redo the new coach mentorship if you feel like you really need the accountability, okay? Um, if you're new, then there will be a kickoff call and I'm gonna post that on our team page. It's probably going to be next Monday since I think next Monday is the first, right? I'll let you know Jackie's not feeling well, so I don't I don't know if I have a date on that yet, but I encourage you to do it again if you if you really need it. Okay? And what else? And so the new coach mentorship is really going to walk you through so many things about coaching and you want to do it a couple times so that some stuff you might have missed there's a lots of guidance in there and there's so much information. So make sure you take it all in and you really give it all you've got because it's a really great mentorship and we did took a lot of time, effort and energy to put it together so that you guys get all the things that we feel are super important. Um, okay, so now let's talk about developing powerful habits for your business. Um, I just want you to remember that this business is just like a fitness program. So it's all about building that muscle and learning um, and growing, right? So that's really what this business is about. And so you're not gonna be perfect. You're gonna fall, you're gonna fail. And that's okay. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. And who I am right now is not who I was two years ago or even four years ago. So remember that you're just growing through this journey and you're trying new things and you're getting uncomfortable and then you're continuing to try new things and get more uncomfortable. And that's really what it's about, okay? 
Um, and don't compare yourself, your journey, your coaching journey, just like your fitness journey is not like anybody else's. So if you feel like, oh, I don't have the followers or I don't have the friends or she's going, no, we are all on our own road, just like with fitness. So, um, so just stay in your own lane. I know it's hard not to, but seriously, stay in your own lane and just like focus on the things that you're doing. Um, so in terms of this, one thing that really will help you is to uncover what your why is for coaching. Why is it that you're doing this? Because that's going to be the real driving force of how you show up as a coach. Is it financial? Is it because you're saving for a special trip for your family? Is it because you want to cover bills in your household? Maybe it's because you really want to make it a full-time income or is it accountability? Like you need this because you have to keep showing up for yourself, you know? Or maybe you have a strong call like to, for service and helping others. My why, when I started out, my why was all about financial and building a business and when I really figured out what this was and how powerful and amazing it was, it really was that everyone should have this in their life. Everyone should have a community. Everyone should be able to tap into these fitness solutions and programs and have what we have. Like that is my why really is just like, I feel like this is a gift. And so, and giving this to, to other people so that they can build businesses for themselves. So that's my why. That makes your why should make you cry. So it should be something that's that powerful. Okay. So make sure that you know what that is and then write it, put it up somewhere so that when you sit down to work your business, it's there front and center, that thing that's going to push you to do the things that are uncomfortable, to invite and connect and all of those things. Um, so that's one thing is always know what your why is for anything that you do in life. You know, really, it's not just for this business. It's for your fitness. It's for, you know, your relationships, all of, you know, you always want to be able to tap into your why. Um, what about scheduling? So the next thing is going to be developing those habits. It's just like you want to schedule this business, just like you schedule your workouts and your nutrition and your food prep. It's the same thing. And you want to fit this into your life. You don't want to, you don't, Beachbody is not, you have your life and you have the things that you're doing. So you want to try and squeeze Beachbody into those spots in your life where it makes sense for you. So, you know, schedule that time in 20 minutes on Wednesday from nine to nine 15, I'm going to work my business. Okay. Make sure you're scheduling in from week to week, because that's going to make you feel more accountable. It's going to make you keep your word to yourself that you were going to start a business, that you are going to grow it, that you're going to put time and effort into it every single day, put your timer on, be intentional. And then that's it. Do you know what I mean? So be super focused on what that's going to look like for yourself. Um, Look, you know, be intentional with, you know, look at your week as a whole every single week when you're going to do the things. Oh, uh, let me see. Sorry, I have my notes here. I'm looking at. Be real with yourself. That's another big thing is like, if you really want this, are you doing the things? Are you putting yourself out there? Are you inviting? Are you adding to your network every single day? That is so important. It's, business is not hard. It's super, super simple, but you got to be real with yourself and commit to those things. And, um, and then you'll grow. Like it just happens. But if you're doing all of the things, uh, jump into power action hours with our team. We're going to have them on Thursday nights. Jackie has them three times a week if you have flexibility during the day. I'm, I've been jumping on them. They're Monday, I think they're Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays during the day. So if you have daytime flexibility, jump in with us. If not, try and jump in at night. Also, if you go to the Beachbody Champions page, they have all the top coaches take, there's action hours all day long. You can actually get on Zoom calls with top coaches of the company, people who are making millions of dollars doing this, and you can just do their power hour with them. They literally do the same thing that we do. They time you, they tell you what to do, they give you their tips and tricks, and they lead you through a power hour and you learn from them. So, and I've been on several of them, they're really great. So I encourage you to do that. Like see if you, if you have flexibility at night, do that. Um, work, make sure that you're working in power pockets. You have to add to your network every day, right? So when are you going to do that? Figure out, build it into your habits. It's every day. I do my energize. I add 20 people to my network. 
boom, done. So make sure that you're building this into your, into your regular routine. Um, and it takes a second, right? Nothing is gonna be automatic. That's why if you've got your tracker, make sure that you're following your tracker and, um, and looking at it every day, being intentional. And write it out, write everything out, like literally pencil it in. If you have a calendar, I have this big, huge calendar. I have a calendar in my phone. I, I constantly, I put the reminders on. I have dings and whistles constantly going off to tell me what to do. Otherwise I would miss everything. So make sure that you write it out, that you schedule it, all those things. Um, personal development, guys, this is huge. So if you are a brand new coach, a really great book is Get Over Your Damn Self. I suggest you get it. It's really good. It's, it's good even for veteran coaches. I know I've given it to Kirsten to read, and I know that really helped her actually decide to coach. <laughs> she was like, I'm on the fence. I'm like, you need to read this book. So um, that's a really great book. And it kind of makes you get out of your own way and get out of your own head because lots of times we are our own worst enemies and we stop ourselves from sharing stuff because we're scared. And what it really is showing you is that it's not about you, it's about them. If you have a gift to share, you have to just get over your damn self and share the gift, right? Share what this is all about. So it really helps you get over through over that hump of it's about yourself, but it's really about the service that you're providing. Um, so make sure that you pick a personal development book and read it. And that's the one vital behavior that most coaches don't do that ends up being the thing that changes their business later on. And almost all top coaches will get on that morning wake up call and say, oh my goodness, when I started reading personal development, when I started really growing within myself and tackling the things that were holding me back in life, that's when my business started to grow. So I can't say it enough that you've got to do the personal development and put the time in to grow yourself. Um, let's see, lean into the team. Okay, so we have our Transformation Warriors pod. Lean into that. Okay, make sure that you're posting questions. If I'm not available, post them in that pod because Nicole will answer or someone who's been around for a little while can answer your questions. I'm not the only one. And, um, and it'll help you get to know everybody. You guys should all be, have, be friends on Facebook. If you aren't, like after this call, go back to our graphic and add each other as friends. You should all be cheering each other on. You should all be in each other's business, know what's going on. We are a team, so let's support each other that way, okay? Um, what else? And ask support if you need it. If you need support from me, I am, my inbox is always open. I will support you with whatever it is that you need. Um, and then if you haven't done a vision board or created a vision for yourself for this year, I encourage you to do it. I still haven't done mine, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not preaching, but I have it on my schedule to do this weekend. So um, once I'm done, you know, I'll do a post about it and I'll share about it. But I've been thinking about what I want to go on it and all of that. So um, make sure that you do a vision board, you create a vision for yourself for the year, something you really want to step into, something that lights you up and gets you excited about the year, and then put it up like where you work or wherever. It'll really help you. Um, and what else? And then figure out what your goals are for this business. That kind of goes with your why, but what do you want to accomplish over the next few months with this business? Figure out what those goals are. Have something that's tangible for yourself, okay? And then let me or your coach know what those goals are so that we can really support you in getting there and tell you, okay, if you, this is, if you want to do X, Y, and Z, these, let's reverse engineer that and talk about what that looks like in your life and in your week and how you can get to that. So um, reach out to me and let me know what it is that you want. And I will, prov I will mentor you and tell you the things that I think that you should do in order to get there. And we'll work together on it, okay? Um, and then the last thing is just don't be afraid to try new things and get uncomfortable. That's what this is about. So if me telling you that going live scares you to death, then that's what you should do. So think about the things that make you really uncomfortable. Am I, am I frozen? Shoot. Doing so good with the internet connection. Am I frozen? Am I frozen or no? Am I good now? No, it's fine. Okay, I was. All right. So think about, you guys are all frozen. Um, think about the things that really make you uncomfortable and lean into them. 
if it's posting your transformation, then that's what you should do. You know, if it is going live, if it's um, reaching out to someone that you're scared to invite, think about it like this. When you're making your list, if you've already made your list of people you want to invite to, if you were opening, I heard this today and I was like, that's so right on because people get so scared of inviting to this opportunity or inviting to just into their groups. And if you were opening a restaurant, would you invite every single person you knew in the world to the restaurant you were opening? Hell yeah, you would. It's the same thing. You're opening your own business. You want to invite everybody to the party, especially if it's a party that's changing your freaking life. So make sure that, you know, you look at it that way. It's not, I mean, the worst thing that people can say is no. So just always remember that. Um, and that's it. I think I went over everything. So uh, we do have a little guest speaker. Jessica is going to talk today. So Jessica came on board, oh my goodness, two months ago? Six, six months ago? No, six weeks ago. Okay, I'm on, I'm on, I'm, you unmute yourself. Okay, and she she had actually been following me, I think, in on, on Facebook for a little bit. And she had her, she had a coach. And I had reached out to her and invited her several times. And she was like, I have a coach and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then I don't know, we, she reached, I reached out to her on some post and her coach like disappeared or I don't know what was going on, but she was gone. <laughs> and so she joined me and now she's coaching. So you never know how, how this ride's going to go and how you're going to connect with somebody and sometimes you just find your people and you get along so well and you know that's how that's the gift of what this can do for you right so jessica came on board she got like dove right like headfirst into this journey she did so so good and um and i asked her if she wanted to coach and pay it forward and then she just went and she's been kind of like doing this thing and growing and having some different aha moments and um, I'll let her share kind of where she's at and where she, you know, how it's been for her, but she's done really well. And she's hit success club her first two months in the business, which is huge. And if you don't know, if you hit six, success club, you're three times in your first six months, you actually get to be in a test group. So it's really exciting. And she's, she gets it in February, which she's going to do. She's going to get to be in a Molly's test group, which is the, which is the trainer who did the work and she get the next big program coming out. So it's really exciting. And I'm so proud of you and everything that you're doing and how you're just being so bold and brave and being super authentic in your journey. So I will thank you. Over. Thank you. Well, no, it's funny. You should say that. Kate, because the backstory is that I did get involved under a different coach last March and um, I was in a challenge group and it was cool. We were posting our workouts um, and then I started following Kate. Well, she requested me. So again, like extending your network, I get it now. We're just like having mutual friends, you know, a bunch of random mutual friends, but didn't know each other. And then when she friend requested me, I started following her and and the same time my coach did fall off and she had some like medical issues, which was fine. And, but the, the funny thing is when I, when I had my original coach, she was like, okay, so the, there's a package where you can do Shakeology and nutrition program. I'm like, no, I just want to do the workouts. It was zero interest. I'm not doing Shakeology. I don't know why I was just like really adamantly no. And then, um, when I switched to Kate and then I kind of started getting like coached more and more involved and she's doing check-ins with me and I'm like seeing the bigger picture about nutrition. And then I'm like, you know, maybe I will do a package. So I have been in, uh, you know, a quarterly member for probably six months before I decided like, okay, I'm doing the workouts. I love them, but I do feel like I could do a little bit more and then um, switching to get a challenge pack and then get the whole, you know, I do the energize now and the recover and the Shakeology and then to coach. So I feel like it kind of showed me that, you know, we had a discussion about this at our meeting last week, but I have a few people who are already involved and in, in just switch coaches to me and they're still just quarterlies. And I'm like treating them like everybody else because I'm kind of thinking if they feel like I'm their personal coach and that they can really benefit from more, they might, you know, eventually be interested in doing something more and doing Shakeology or doing the challenge pack. So 
But Kate, I mean, her, her, your advice today was like basically everything I was thinking to say is it's so like, it's been such a journey to push through the uncomfortable. Like when I first met with Kate, I'm like, I'm really private. I really don't like to share a lot on social media. She's like, yeah, so that's going to have to change. Um, you're going to have to start like sharing a lot and you're already doing the things you just need to start sharing about it. And I mean, I, what you said something, Kate, like, you know, you push through what's uncomfortable and then there's the next thing that's going to be uncomfortable and pushing through that. I mean, like just doing my coming out post is uncomfortable. And then my first workout post, I was like super uncomfortable, but I kind of just had to keep ripping the bandaid and doing it because then you do it and you're like, okay. And I was really worried, um, like what people would think or if people's, you know, to turn people off. And I think Kate touched on what I was thinking with this too, it, it, that it's like, all right, you know, it's really not about me if they're uncomfortable or they're not interested or this is, you know, they can unfold. It's their choice. They don't have to see me. I'm not, it's not required that they see me. I feel like for some reason that like helped me feel okay. Like they can, they can unfollow me if they don't want to see me, but there are people. And I remember Kate telling me the people who need to see you will find you. And, but then that kind of leads to my next point is I was kind of hoping people would just find me and be like, cool, I want to do what you're doing. What are you doing? And I, and I realized how they aren't coming to me. If I don't reach out to them, then like if I reach out they're like it's almost like they were waiting for me to reach out like someone comments on my post and you know maybe they comment again because at first I was like a little uncomfortable with reaching out like I was posting every day now I'm like posting every day and people are commenting and liking and I'm kind of like not doing anything with that and then finally one day I just decided like I was afraid to sound like salesy with like a script like oh you should join me or whatever and I decided to just be more authentic with my reach outs because I'm still totally in like a warm market. Like everybody who's reached out to me is somebody I know from like some point in my life. It's not um, random people. So I just kind of did more of like a connecting reach out. Like, hey, thanks so much for the love on my post. You can tell I'm on this journey right now. I really appreciate your support. And everybody was like, has been super encouraging and sweet and like, oh my God, it's been awesome watching you. And, you know, and then it kind of has evolved into a conversation like, cool, are you doing any workouts? You know, it's just more like when I've looked at it more like I'm connecting with people and, and me, it's been mostly connecting with people like somehow in my past, like high school or whatever, college or in my neighborhood um, that, you know, they're, and, and Kate helped me feel better about this too. They're really initiating it with me, but I'm posting it. But if they like or comment, then they're kind of like starting the comp. They're kind of like initiating with me. And then I'm kind of like responding to them. And if I've been responding in like more of a engaging conversational way, that's felt more comfortable to me. And um, I've realized that, they're, that, that I have to start that conversation for it to go anywhere. And I think that, I think that 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 and then the other um, thing I was going to bring up is that, you know, some people when I started the conversation with them, it almost seemed like they were like wanting they're like yeah actually I'm doing beach body too I can tell you're doing MBF I'm like oh cool why didn't you message me and they're like I have a different coach but you know I'm not really you know they were just assigned to me and I'd rather support you can I switch I'm like yeah. So I think that's just been a nice way to like even build a network of people that I'm like checking in with and connecting with and, and hoping that somehow it might turn into something like it did for me, where they might like be like, oh, wow, this is a different experience when you have a community and you have somebody who cares about how it's going for you and that maybe it would lead to something else. So that's kind of just been like my experience in the last six weeks. And I definitely am still pushing through the uncomfortable. I mean, I haven't done a go live. I'm very proud of myself though. Twice I talked in like a video this week. Like I said, like today I said, I put on my control track. Like I'm not facing the camera, but I, <laughs> I don't know why, but I can see why that would be engaging for people because then they see you talking and especially people who know you in some part of your life, you haven't seen them in 20 years. And then it's like connecting. So I think I, you know, I'm working towards that and there's a lot of things to still work towards, but I think that these are some major aha moments I've had in the last six weeks and, um, and that's about it. I love it. So 
something that she said, which is really, really important is we do give you a lot of scripts and I'll share my script with you, but you have to take anything you get and make it your own. So it feels like it's totally you and authentically you, because if it doesn't feel like you and you're saying it, then it's not going to ring true. And you're not going to put out that look when you're your energy really affects this business and the energy that you put into your messages when you're really excited about something and you can tell in the message, you know, or like in the voice, like sometimes I'll voice message people I'll be like, oh my God, you, you know, I saw your post just now about like, you know, falling off or whatever, I, we've got to connect. I think you're gonna love this program. So like you want to bring that excitement that you're feeling every day. I mean, if you're excited to work out every day, like who dis? That's me. I'm like, I'm excited to get up and do this program every day. Like who like is excited about doing that? But we are, well, most of us are, but like Jackie hates working out and she makes no, like she's super truthful about it, but that's her thing. Everyone knows she hates working out and she does it anyways, because she knows that she needs to, you know what I mean? So, but if you are excited about getting up and working out and doing this, like share about that. And, and express it like when you're inviting. And so make the scripts, make it you, and um, and you'll have you'll be more effective, right? The other thing too is, yes, you have to invite to your party. No one's gonna come if you don't invite them. I know we all want everyone just banging down the door. Oh my goodness, let me have it right now, everything that you're doing, but that's not how it works, especially with health and fitness. It's just a harder journey. And think about how many times the person who invited you, how many times they invited you. you they probably invited you a couple of times and you probably were like, no, a couple of times. And then maybe you said yes, but you were still watching them, you know? And so make sure that you're just continuing to invite. And what she said is really good too about th this is your warm market. You, if you're starting out right now, you have a warm market. And then you're going to go into your cold market and your cold market is everybody that you are adding to your network and they will be watching you like Jessica was watching me and Kirsten and like a lot of you. So, you know, that's your cold market. But does that mean that you can't like those people are still watching you? Those people still need help. So you want to make and we have a tremendous group, you guys like our group and what the resources that we offer our challengers it really is a lot we do the virtual gym we have a book club we're in that challenge group checking in we're posting meal plans every single week they get over 200 recipes like right off the bat there's so much value that they're going to get just from being a part of this tribe so um so it really is something that really anyone could use. And even if they are doing like orange theory workouts, it doesn't, I have a lot, I have clients who do orange theory workouts. That's okay. They can still use the nutrition work. We all know that it's 80% is nutrition, right? So um, yes, that, I think that's everything I wanted to add to that. Um, yes. So make sure that adding to your network, that's huge because once you get through that warm market, you want to have been adding and adding and adding. So you already have people who are watching you um, who are going to want to jump in with you, okay? And if you are brave enough, if you are ready to get a little uncomfortable, some really great apps for, um, let me see the chat, sorry. Some really great apps for your workouts are InShot, um, Triller, if you like to dance, um, what else? InShot, Triller, Pick, Post, Play is another one that a lot of people really like. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I love the Instagram Reels, but those, the sound doesn't go down on those, doesn't come, doesn't download on those. So if you're on Instagram and you do the Reels, you just have to save it and then you have to add your own music to it. Um, I think that's everything. So yes. Yay. Does anyone have any questions they want to ask Jessica or me or anybody on the team or comments or anything? And I want to welcome, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Irina. Uh, I, wanted to welcome I, I just have a question. Um, so like on the post, is it okay to post like one of the recipe cards that we have or are they like only for those who sign up? Like I wanted to post the recipe card and then put the post of what I made like so, next year. Is that allowed? Uh, no. 
So a really great, so we don't typically post those recipe cards, but a really great way to do that and to also bring up your engagement is to post a picture of a recipe and say, if anybody wants the recipe, you know, comment below and I'll send it to you. And then you can send it to people. And that's more how I like to do it because then you get a convo going. Yeah. And, uh, do I send it as a recipe card or do I like? You can send the recipe card. card. Oh, okay. That's fine. We have so many of those recipes. It's not a big deal. I just try not to post it on social media because then other people are like taking it and using it. But if you can send it to people, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's a really great way to engage people is to take a picture of your cauliflower rice or whatever it is and say, if you want the recipe, you know, DM, you know, comment below and I'll send it to you. And then you can get a conversation going, Hey, here's the recipe. I like to add this and this to it. Are, you know, are you into clean eating? And that right there starts a connection, starts a dialogue. You're going to find out how their nutrition is, how they're eating. And then you could even from there, then invite them to the group. You know, we give you know, we give you these kinds of recipes and access and blah blah blah. So again, if you ever get stuck in a conversation, you don't know where to go, send a screenshot to your coach, and they'll tell you exactly how they reply to stuff. Any other questions? Comments? Okay. So um, a lot of you guys are going to be in the new coach mentorship. Um, a couple shout outs to our new coaches, Jenny and Irina, who are on the who are on this call. Welcome, girls. Thanks for jumping on. I know we have a bunch of other new coaches. And so hopefully you guys who are if you hopefully you're watching the recording. Welcome. We're so excited to have you part of our team. Um, I want to recognize uh, Kirsten, because she started a diamond track. So I'm really excited. Just so you know, a diamond track is basically she's doing a super intense training with me one on one to get have her hit diamond in the next like six weeks. And so she's going to have all kinds of crazy check ins. I'm going to make her do lots of scary stuff. <laughs> and she's probably going to hate me and love me at the same time, but that's okay. And um, we'll both grow through this. And hopefully at the end, we'll be diamond. But even if we're not diamond in six weeks, she's going to like really grow into the habits of what a diamond is and become that leader. And then it'll eventually happen. So remember that. Rem the goal is to stretch you, right? And to have you grow. And that's really what this is about. So I'm so excited to have you joining me. Um, and to be in a diamond trick, I only do one at a time. And to be in it, you have to be hitting success club and, um, you know, have a, be all ready to go all in and really want to build this business for yourself. All right, guys, that's all I have. Um, let's rock our February. Let's each go around and say one power word for our month and then we'll jump off. What is your power word? What do you really want? Like, what's your power word for the month? What do you, what is like top of mind that you want to just blow it out of the water or whatever? It could be a goal, a word, something. Connect. All right, connection, I love it. Anyone else? Lean in, I think, for me, because I'm doing a lot of uncomfortable stuff, like scary, <laughs> with all of that journey, but I'm leaning into it, and I'm, I want to see where it will take me. I love it. Lean in. That's awesome. And we're here. We're here with, for you to lean into it. I'm going with expand. Nice. Expand. That's awesome. I'm gonna do dare. Who's doing dare? You're doing dare, I love it. It would be amazing. I'm gonna just say diamond, because I wanna be a diamond. There you go, unstoppable diamond, let's do unstoppable. it. Unstoppable, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing else? balance. Balance, yeah. I love it. Awesome. I Okay, I'm, I'm doing very open, just being Oh, go ahead. That's okay. Sorry. No, I said that I have so many great ideas and I'm just like, I need to channel them and put them together because I don't mind going live. I go live every Sunday with my husband and we have a really good time. And I've been doing it since the summer. We were so afraid to do it, but we're getting much better at it and everything. So 
I love to do that and, and connect with people. It's just that put it all together, balance it all out. Perfect. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to say open, like I'm just open to possibilities and open to what's to come. Love it. Mine is fire. I want to bring the fire. I want us all to feel the fire on this team and excited and just like, just rocking this month. I'm so excited for February, you guys. Okay. Anyone else? Jenny, did you give us a word? I'm going to be brave. <laughs> Yay! I love it! Awesome. You are brave and beautiful. That's my, my daughter. Every night before she goes to bed, she says three affirmations. She says, I am brave, I am beautiful, and I am loved. And we all are. So love you guys. Have an amazing night. Wait, let's take a picture. Ready? Everyone smile. I think I got it. One more just in case. Smile. Okay. Awesome. Um, I will post this recording that make sure that you tag your